Merseyside police on a mission to dismantle five county lines. Criminal drug operations running from Liverpool to towns in North Wales. So once you've hit the dorm, we've got entry, I'll go through first. The dealers who run the lines use children as runners and expose them to danger and violence while hoping to keep all the nastiness from their own front door. Well, that plan came crashing down today for a number of suspects. This was a coordinated operation at 15 addresses in Liverpool and four other towns involving 120 officers. A 37-year-old man was arrested at this house, suspected of running an operation 50 miles away in Rill. These kind of police raids now happen every week in Liverpool, but what's unusual about this one is that the Home Secretary was watching. Today, also viewing a search operation by the British Transport Police, Priti Patel spoke exclusively to Sky News about her plans to tackle the problem. Across government, we all have a collective responsibility to start to understand county lines, but importantly, tackle county lines drugs. The gangs, the perpetrator, the individuals and the organisations behind county lines. So we can quite literally cut the head of the snake and get to the very root causes, the upstream causes of why county lines has become such an issue in this country. Sky News has previously investigated county lines from crack houses to mules carrying drugs on trains to marketplaces like here in South End, where one youth said he'd been stabbed by someone running a drug line. South End. Everyone gets stabbed in South End, bro. Stats this week show knife crime was at its highest recorded level last year. Its increase linked to the spread of county lines and associated youth violence. Critics say that the Conservatives have created the conditions under which county lines has thrived. So, for example, young people have become more vulnerable because of austerity or cuts to mental health services and, in particular, cuts to youth services. But, not known for her soft side, the Home Secretary acknowledged today there needs to be investment and improved opportunities for those young people at risk. First and foremost, we have to safeguard children. We've got to protect them in their communities and stop them from even falling into this awful death trap. We're not speaking about a handful of children. Thousands of children go missing every year. Thousands of children are being exploited across our country. That is awful. That cannot be allowed. And that's something we've got to get on top of and try and stop. It can't be achieved by policing alone. But Boris Johnson has pledged to totally wind up every county line. And it's this woman who's tasked with fulfilling that ambition. Jason Farrell, Sky News.